Hello, welcome back to Beauty Bee and to, I believe, the third uh, inspired by my wish list video. I'm doing these in conjunction with an eyeshadow no buy, or really of an eyeshadow very low buy, because I still want things and sometimes I just need to convince myself that I already have it and most certainly do not need to purchase it. And one thing that has been sort of on my wish list since it came out, and you know, then it faded from interest a little bit, and then somewhat recently, within the last, you know, six to eight months, I've definitely been thinking about it again. And it's the lilac you a lot, lilac you a lot? I feel like I can't say lilac, li lilac in a attractive voice, and I'm sorry, I'm very Midwestern. <laughs> I really want this palette. I've actually thought quite a bit about buying it once my um, low buy is over. And then yesterday I was repressing my eyeshadows into um, like just individual little pans like this. This was a Wet n Wild shadow, I believe, from one of their little quads. And uh, you know what I built? I really thought that I did not have that many light purples and light pinks. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> so I built this little palette. I think it is really pretty. And today I think I'm going to use it to put together a look that was inspired by the Lilac You A Lot palette. Now, I think that this is darker than anything that is actually in that Lilac palette, but I kind of feel like it's lacking a deep shade, so I don't think that was a bad addition. And it also does not have anything that's quite this silver, but again, I think it was a good addition. So I have my base makeup on, I have eye primer, and I've set the eye primer, I have my brows done. I don't always gel my brows but today i felt like i could really use that extra like millimeter of space on my brow bone that i gain from gelling my eyebrows a little bit up and then uh, sort of putting the tail flat against my face so let's get started um i haven't actually thought really through the look that i'm going to do but i think that i want to start with probably this purple. And I think I'm going to try to do a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a cut crease, not like a, not anything super crazy or dramatic, but a little bit of something. So I'm gonna start with my eyes open. Maybe I should do it on this side so you can actually see the first one. And I'm just gonna draw right along that line and then wing it out just a little bit. Okay. The important thing to me here is that I'll actually be able to see it when my eyes open because I have such hooded eyes that usually all of my crease makeup just disappears. And here it is too, but you can, you can at least see a little bit of it. And then the other side is always the hard part. My uneven hooded eyes strike again. This needs to be lower down on this side than it was on the other. Okay, I think that's pretty close. It's not. <laughs> okay, now I'm just calling that close, even if it's not, because I want to move on. I think I'm going to blend that up with this shade from actually my pan those eyeshadows this is that sort of matte taupe shade that i drew yesterday for me i don't know what order things are going up but you know 
at some point in the not so distant future, not so distant past. That just looks dirty right now, but I am going to brighten that up later, so I'm not terribly concerned. I just really don't want a stark edge of purple. Okay. So I was going to say that's looking good, but it's not really. <laughs> Let's just be honest. But I think it will look okay at the end. Fingers crossed. Next up, I think I'm going to go for this pink shade. This is Earthshine from ColourPop. I'm just going to take it on my finger. It's this blue-pink duochrome. It's very pretty. I'm going to apply that all over the lid. I feel like I'm going to need to end up deepening things up a little bit. I think it looks okay on camera, but honestly, that might just be the actually good lighting that I've set up for filming. Um, <laughs> my mirror's lighting is awful. Okay. So, not bad, not bad at all. I do want to use that purple again uh, right along the lower lash line and for that I'm going to use this little detail brush. I'm just going to dip into that matte purple and sort of dot along my lower lashes. I feel like this is always fun with a cut crease because you really get that 60s look from it. And then I will put on some kind of clumpy bottom lashes. Which of course you could do with actual bottom lashes, but I'm not going to. I, I just don't, I'm not invested enough to do that. Okay, I think next up, I'm actually going to go into that purple again. This time back on the angled liner brush. I'm going to take it along the lashes and then uh, wing it out a little bit along the upper lashes this time. The best wing I've ever done, but honestly, not even close to the worst either. I need to stop touching the, uh, the mic. Goodness. Are those even? Not even a little bit. <laughs> We're at least getting closer to even. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so next I'm going to brighten things up a little bit and I'm actually going to reach outside the little palette I made for this and go into, come on, open, thank you. This shimmery white, which is also in my Pandas eyeshadows. So I don't feel bad about using it because I'm not going to, uh, I'm not jeopardizing progress on my Pandas eyeshadows for anything because goodness knows that last update did not go very well, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna really brighten up over all of those areas where I put the gray because I wanted to blend things and then 
it ended up being a little bit muddy. Okay, I want to brighten things up even further. So I'm going to find my NYX Ultimate Utopia palettes. And this has my perfect brighten things up, uh, correct messes shade in this really, really light pink, actually. It looks almost white, but it's, it's a very light pink. I think that it is just the tiniest bit lighter than my skin tone. So it's, it's just perfect for me to correct any mistakes that I've made. Okay. I'm also going to stick that in the inner corner. And then I think I want to go over the purple just a little bit more. Not that purple, different purple. This one, just to really make sure that I can see that it's, I was going for a little bit of a cut crease. I said it earlier. Now I'm going to just clean off that brush on my color switch. This brush. <laughs> Realize I should stop using that and this when you can't even see what I'm referring to. Okay, so that's looking good and I'm going to go back into that next shade and just try to clean up a little area right here so that I get the same shape that I have over here where there's a little bit of a gap between the two, the two wings. I'm going to clean up on the other side as well, because why not? Okay, so I think that is looking not great, but okay. I really like how it turned out on this side for sure. This side, a little less sold on it, not going to lie. You know what? We're calling it good. The great thing about vintage makeup is that uh, no one was on Instagram, so, you know, even the model makeup sometimes looked a little wonky. Let's, let's be real here. So I am going to add some mascara, but I think first I'm just going to try to do as much of the rest of my face as I can. I'm going to use this sort of matte purple rose. It's kind of an interesting shade. I've really been enjoying it recently. This is actually from a, another Wet n Wild quad and I've used it as blush several times on my channel before. I'm just running my blush brush through it and hitting my cheeks. With the shade, I really like to focus it right on the apple. I try not to go back as far as I usually do with other colors. Okay, that's looking good. Now for a little bit of highlight. Go back in, thank you. Now for a little bit of highlight, I'm going to go in to my Wet n Wild, I was gonna call it my Wet n Wild Cheek Leaders palette, no. This is my Wet n Wild Mega Glow palette and the white shade, which actually has quite a bit of like a purple iridescence to it. Go right along the cheekbones. I want yet more glow though, so I'm going to actually go into my cheek leaders at this point. Into Tickle. And I'm getting that on the same brush and I'm going to just put that over the blush. I like that rosy glow. I feel like that is very flattering for me personally. 
Now for some lips, I'm going in with my e.l.f. T-Rose lip lacquer, I believe. It's like a liquid lipstick, but not a matte liquid lipstick. It's like a cream formula, satin formula liquid lipstick. And honestly, it's a pretty scary shade. To start with, full on. A little bit corpse mouth, not gonna lie. However, once you spread it out a little bit, it starts looking a little bit better. And this is one of the rare lipsticks that I find as I wear it throughout the day, it can just continues to look better instead of wearing down to look kind of gross. I feel like you see more and more pink rather than this gray purple coming through the longer you wear it. And it actually becomes really flattering maybe 20 to 30 minutes after it's been on. I don't know why that is. That seems like a design flaw, but you know what? I also think I got it for like 60 cents, so I can't complain all that much. Okay, now for mascara to top things off, I'm going to be using this It Cosmetics one, and I'm going to first apply to my top lashes. And I am really loading my lashes up. And then on the bottom, I'm going to turn my brush so that it's like this and really hit each and every one of those individual lashes. That's going to give me that really clumpy, full PC bottom lash that I'm looking for to go with my um, the dots that I added as well as my um, cut crease my little winged cut crease. It'll, it really ties in the entire little 60s look. And I think that is it. So very happy with this side. I think this is a very cute look. Uh, this is a little wonky, but you know, eh, you win some, you lose some. I, I'm into this. I'm really glad that I didn't buy the uh, ColourPop Lilac You a lot because um, clearly I own it. And I really hope that you are enjoying these inspired by my wishlist videos. I have a playlist of these, I believe, which I will link up in the cards as well as down in the description box. And I hope you will consider checking those out if you enjoyed this one. Also, please consider liking and subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!